Hey, what's up everybody? 3D Theory here. Today is September 4th, 2024. It is 8.03 a.m. and this is vlog number 50. So as you can tell, we got our stealth TV tray pieces printing out in black PETG. I ended up getting my filament in yesterday. 11 boxes that are that size there. It was uh, quite a bit of filament. It's heavy, but nonetheless, we got them in. It's looking good. We got the two halves of the table printing out over here. Very happy to come in and see that. This is finished. We got to start that up. And this bottom center bar, which looks fantastic. I can't wait to show you guys in more detail. It's all printing out perfectly, except for this here. So I loaded this plate up, which I'll show you in the computer. Uh, I did last night and I recorded it. So you'll be able to see uh, the Bamboo Studio portion of this. But this right here, was just let me turn on this light here this right here was just the hexagonal center bar and i don't know what really happened to it but it didn't stick on too well uh, may have to do a raft or figure out what went wrong with that maybe i put it on its edge and i didn't realize it or maybe it just didn't stick to the bed i still have to figure that part out but nonetheless all the other parts are printing out perfectly they look fantastic and um, I think I'm just gonna re-slice this so that so that the uh, hexagonal bar is not there and just get it going again. This is this was a 23, almost a 24 hour print. So I was hoping to come in and see it halfway completed this morning. Ah, uh, nice coffee, but it's okay. We can get that fixed up. These are humming along beautifully. I did end up oiling the Y-axis guide rail last night on this machine and that machine there. Let's see how this comes off beautifully very nice there's just a little bit of stringing right there i say stringing but a little bit of filament that came off but other than that take a look at this beautiful printed piece or shall i say beautifully printed piece wow looks great and it has the uh tree support inside there that where the dowel goes but we're going to be cleaning that out and uh yeah this is coming along i think it'll probably take another day or two for this thing to finish up uh but let's Hop in the computer and I can show you the uh, Bamboo Studio portion of this all. And uh, we can load up some more files and then uh, get this mini print farm running. And by the way, if you're new to this channel, what I usually print are these plates and latches. So this is a left latch, right latch, left plate, right plate. And these attach to a larger product that I don't really talk about because the larger product is not really 3D printed. But this is my tiny 3D print farm of five Bamboo Lab A1 3D printers. This one having AMS light combo so that when I have near empty spools of filament that cannot finish a plate or a latch completely on its own. I bring it over here. I load it up and I turn on auto refill, which then will run a print and halfway through the spool will finish and it'll switch over to the next spool and finish off that print. So it's very useful because I have uh, several near empty spools of filament in that box. But production is at a, a halt right now on that because we've reached the amount of units we needed to reach and we're in the process of assembling all of our units. And uh, it was 300 and we got probably 20 assembled fully. There's a lot of parts to it. So we're just continuing on. Each fully assembled product takes about 20 minutes to assemble. And I have the products in a different location. And again, I don't talk too much about the assembly process due to business obligations. And the overall product is not fully 3D printed, just a part of it is. But nonetheless, we are doing a fully 3D printed stealth TV tray table. And if you haven't been seeing it, it's been a series that I designed from, you can say a reference from scratch. I had a reference, meaning a TV tray table, and I stealthed it out. So I am gonna put together a compiled video of all the uh, stealth TV tray portions of this project. So at the end, we'll have a nice and compiled video of all the stealth TV tray designing, 3D modeling, slicing, printing, prototyping process so that it's not scattered. But in my daily vlogs, I do talk about it and we are currently at the printing stage it's going to be our first complete prototype and hopefully we can call it our finished product so we don't have to do any more changes but nonetheless i'm going to hop in the computer show you how i sliced it yesterday and we'll get some more prints loaded up on this and this and get production going hey what's up everybody 3d theory here 
We're here in Bamboo Studio and we're going to get that stealth TV tray sliced out and ready to print. I am so excited to finally get this thing printing. I have all the filament that I ordered. It came in today um, and today is actually September 3rd, 2024 at 7.39 p.m. So it is yesterday because I'm pretty sure I'm going to upload this tomorrow. But nonetheless, let's bring this in. We're going to make it 90 degrees, lay it down flat, and it's just like how we planned it out. It's almost the entire plate, just minus maybe a, a couple of millimeters. And as I've mentioned before, I'm not going to make this too dense. I usually put the strength at four wall loops with 60% infill and gyroid. In fact, the only thing I'm going to change is I'm going to change this to triangles or maybe honeycomb. I think I will go with triangles. I haven't done triangles in a long time. Someone had suggested doing triangles in the comments, so I'm going to do it again and do it for this model here. And this thing's going to be pretty solid, so I'm not assuming we will need any sort of extra strength here. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just slice it. All right, so it's going to take 11 hours and 9 minutes and use a total of 324 grams of filament. Not bad at all. I'm just going to export this out and we'll move on to the next one. All right, so let's go ahead and just grab this, delete it. For those of you who are new to the channel, I can show you my supports that I use because it's a little bit adjusted, not too much, but I feel like it gives me a good time with removing the tree supports. So here's this section, and I'm gonna scroll on down so you can see this section, and there you go. And likewise, I'm just gonna leave the strength of these tabletops the way it is. I'm just gonna rotate it on down 90 degrees and give it a slice. All right, guys, so let's move on to the outer leg. This is the right-hand side of the top part of the leg. We're going to have to rotate that in Y and we can just rotate it by hand this way so that it takes up the entire build plate. And for these parts, I do want to make it as strong as I can. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a 60% infill with gyroid and do a number of walls of four. And I only have five printers here. And I want to print out as many things as I possibly can. So I know I can't do another leg. So maybe let's try importing in other objects that we may be able to print like this. And let's just load up the build plate. I'm going to rotate this as well in X. And I already know that I want to rotate this in Y. Let's do negative 90. We've done all the tests here to make sure these are all strong. Let's see if we could get this cylindrical bar printed out if it's not too long. And I'm gonna rotate that in Z 90 degrees, or how about 45? There you have it. <laughs> it's really close, but I feel like it will do the job. How about this center bar? Maybe we're pushing it, maybe not. That's actually looking really nice. Let's do negative 90 in X and negative 90 in Y, or was it just 90? Yeah, it was just 90. And let's see if I could fit it on this side here. It looks like I can. All right, how about the smaller bars here? This is already laying the flat, laying down flat the way we want it. I'm going to rotate this in 90 and bring it on over. And let's bring in that other bar. And we're going to rotate this, what, 180? Yep, 180 and 90 here. And let's just bring that on over this way. Very nice. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be able to do a lot of prints on this one print bed. So we've got all the dowels, and they're exactly the same. So once I have this position the way I want it to be positioned. I think we'll be able to just clone it. And I just clicked this here, by the way. It's auto-orient. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This time it seemed to have worked. Okay, now we just right click, clone, and we can do number of copies as three. There you have it. Now obviously we don't want these to uh, intersect with each other. And bring it on up. That should work perfectly. <laughs> All right, next we have a center bar, which that is pretty large, so we're not going to be able to put that in there. How about we try to fit all the screws on this one? So we have one screw there, another screw, another one, and it looks like we have three more. So we have six screws, and I'm just going to go ahead and orient them using auto-orient. Very nice. Back in the day, you'd have to worry about doing too many things on one printer because the print quality wouldn't come out as good. And although that still might be the case a little bit, definitely not as much as before. 
So I'm really pushing the limits here on this Bamboo Lab A1, printing out all sorts of different objects on one build plate. And let's see if it could handle it. I'm actually really curious. All right, we got some screw caps that are up next. And the last one, there you have it. Very nice. We don't have that many things, we don't have that many models left that we're gonna be able to put onto here. So I feel comfortable just saving this out slicing it first actually i wanted to remind you that i'm just using generic petg all my settings are exactly the same for generic petg and strength and support were the only two updates i have made it's going to work out the only issue is it's going to take 24 hours but that's all right all right so now we got a fresh scene and we're going to upload the other files here we'll do the outer leg bottom on the right side all right, so we're just going to rotate this by I. All right, and hopefully when we slice this, it doesn't go out of bound. Yep, that's looking great. All right, let's get that center bar in there. Hopefully this will fit. It's looking pretty hefty. I'm going to get it on the back side here. Although I do remember when we laid it flat, we got some strange patterns. So that was one of the tests we did, actually. And I'm not going to lay it down flat. I'm just going to rotate this. And there you have it. All right, let's move on to the next one. Let's do the lid. And I feel like this can be printed solo like this. So let's just give it a slice. All right, so we got six legs left. So it looks like we're going to have to print these out one by one. All right, folks, we have a total of 12 G-code files, and we're not going to be able to print them out all in one night. But we're going to use up all five and get this print started. I'll see you out in the real world. By the way, if you guys are interested, I have all these models available on my Maker World for free. The link is in the description. And... Basically, you got the uh, Lightyear laser blade, all these uh, pen cups, the octopus, you got the Santa hat with legs, these thrones for your phone from Star Wars. This is the Sith throne, Vader throne, Bo-Katan throne. You got green over there and this cool stealth side table. And that's kind of the uh, design language we're talking about when I say stealth TV tray. It looks very geometric like that. And so what we're printing out back there is in the same line as that. And if you guys haven't seen, I printed this out yesterday, and these are little uh, thickness cards. So let's say you're 3D modeling in CAD, and you want to know how four millimeters is going to look. It's going to look like that. Or for example, how 0.7 millimeters is going to look. That's 0.7 there. It's going to look like that. I also have this available on my Maker World for free. Link is in the description. Have fun. And I totally forgot to mention, it is. 80.1 degrees Fahrenheit in a 3D printer room with a 52% humidity. All right, guys, so we're here in Bamboo Studio this morning, and unbeknownst to me, I had printed it out like this, so I don't want to blame the printer. It's actually user error where I had put it on this corner. So I'm just going to click Auto Orient. That was pretty much the issue. And do I dare just print it out again like this? Yes, I do dare. It was working out pretty good. And I can say that we don't need these washers because those washers finished up. You know what? While I was slicing, I said, let me come and check these screw caps. And they're actually perfectly fine. However, I did notice that the screws that I was printing out did have a layer shift. So I'm kind of worried if I print it out again because there's so many things that obviously the quality suffers even on these Bamboo Lab printers. Um, I'm going to print these little screws out separately so that they print out nice and straight. We need them to be really good so i can delete those from that bamboo studio file all right so now that we're back in here i can go ahead and delete these because we certainly don't need these anymore and i want to print these out separately so for that reason i'm just going to take these out of this file and print them out separately and i think we're good to go there so let's give that a slice and that's going to take 22 hours and 21 minutes with 400 grams of filament being used and we are set all right guys so i'm going to get this exported out and put on the sd card for printer number five and i'm going to get another print onto uh printer number two and i'll see you out in the real world all right guys so i got the prints loaded up here so this is the screw set and i got another leg i'm going to do the screw set first to just get that over with all right that's ready to go and we also have the new filled up build plate the loaded let's call it the loaded build plate here so let's get that printing out yep we're going to go with this number two looking good and print by the way this piece finished 3d printing and man does it look nice i got to be careful not to take this off too soon because i took it off too soon last time and i got this 
number here but if you guys can see that ghosted image I always print out my latches from that box up here and so I'm assuming it has something to do with that this blue filament I'm, I don't know how I'm gonna get it out but take a look at that bottom piece Wow oh, my fingerprints that is looking so sweet see now if I had printed this up like this i would get this number here making it look all funky like that but um, when I printed it out on the side having done a test I noticed that I get that nice clean edge there this is heavy it's a nice and hefty piece and I did this on purpose because I want the tabletops to be light and the bottom parts like this center bar for the legs and the legs to be real beefy and heavy so that it doesn't get top heavy because as you can tell these are these are pretty thick so that was intentional but another great piece finished out one step closer to a finished stealth tv tray i'm going to pop this out of here go put on another file and get this thing continuing its printing all right guys so we got all of our printers running can't wait to see more of this stealth tv tray finished out but nonetheless that about wraps it up for today's vlog thank you so much for joining me until next time peace love and joy